One day at the rock farm, Limestone was helping her sister, Marble, to move some rocks. When suddenly this male pony arrived and delivered some mails. They mostly were some letters from the parents for their cousins who were requested here, but there was just one letter that was focused mostly for Limestone. And it was apparently from Pinky. Pinky had invited her sister to see her in Poland, since they haven't seen each other since the last Hearts Forming Eve, and since Limestone has never been to Ponyville, so Pinkie Pie had decided to invite her older sister just to have some small vacation. At first, she didn't want to even go, but her parents managed to convince her at least go see her sister, take a break from her work. They and Marble can take care of the farm for at least a couple of days. Even even though that limestone said that she didn't even want to go, if Pinky wanted to see her, she could come to them. After all, this was home, his family. But her, her mother managed to true, truly convince her own daughter, go see your sister. She wants to see you. She wants to, to show you around and in her no time. If you want to see her, you go to her. She doesn't have to come to you for every time you want to see her. And the limestones are thought after one. There was no point to even try to argue about her parents about this. And even more was that yes, your own said, mm-hmm. And so the very next day, limestone sat on the train all the way to, to Ponyville. But at the train station though, Pinky was even there. Apparently, she got busy at Sugar Corner, so she had sent Spike to pick her up, to take her to the Sugar Corner. At first, Spike had only been heard some stories about her older sister, but she seems to be almost, almost too serious in court to Spike when he told her to, to Twilight. But at least what Twilight told him, that Limestone it's unlike Pinky and Marble and even Maud. She's more serious in topics. But she at least loves her family. Even she looks angry or serious all the time. But she is a sweet pony. But when Pinky saw Limestone, she was beyond happy. So Pinky decided to, to leave her work. So. They walked around in town, just talked, and, and then end up at the castle where Twilight, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash were just spending some time with each other. They were introduced to Limestone, since they had met her once before. They all spent together some time, about a few hours, before Pinky and Limestone had to go back home to the Sugar Corner, but where Limestone was going to stay. Even though that same night, Limestone felt she didn't want to just go home, she had felt homesick. And Pinky, she promised Limestone that everything will be just fine for the next couple of days. She will make sure that she will have a good time in Ponyville, and that she will have some, one of the best times in her life. And the very next day, Pinky didn't have any work, so she decided to spend a lot of time with more with limestone. But she had a very bad, a very special surprise. She actually took limestone to see their older, other older sister, Mod Pie, who lived just outside the town. Even limestone were happy to see Mod, and even 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 if that Mod didn't seem smiling and happy, but she was happy to see her other sister. And they all had a good time. Just a small talk about what happens, what they all happen up doing. Mom told her about her new work, how she, how some, some of her friends helped her to find his key to make her a home, and how she met their boyfriend, Mom Briar, and some other small things. And hearing all the stories, though, that Mom had found her boyfriend, Pinky had found her boyfriend, Marble had found her boyfriend. 
But she was the only one that she had not been able to find any special salt on it. But that was due to the fact that she never left the farm in any case. The only time when she left the farm was on a go to a small town nearby to get some groceries or some food. But otherwise than that, that was the only time that she rarely left the farm. Even her parents' parents had tried to had to convince her to try to tries to encourage her to leave the farm to meet other ponies to have some more bigger friendship to circle. But not much any luck in that. But even if Pinky, with her parents convincing, tried to find some pony for her. But Limestone told Pinky and her mom she didn't want to have any special sound pony at the moment. All she wanted to be just to be herself and spend time with the family. That's all. Even if they didn't ever night the same day afterwards. Pinky had a lot of things to take care of the day. So Limestone were just left for herself. So she just walked around in town, greeted to some ponies, bought some food, and just had her own time for herself. But then she ran into Fluttershy and Rarity. Apparently, they were going to this to Ponyville's Ponyville Spa, and Rarity, who has just met Limestone, invited Limestone to join them to the to the spa. And which Fluttershy is trying to convince even that it, it will be feeling just relaxing. And ever since how much she had been working at the farm without any some any relaxable time. So Limestone thought about it and decided to give it a try. So they went inside. But when she walked in, she saw two mirrors. The spa owners, Lotus and Aloe. Lotus boy was pretty open. She was very really outspoken pony. She greeted all the guests, customers, regulars, but always a happy smile and happy tone. But when Limestone saw her for the first, for the first time, it was like she read in a wall of light. There were no words that can explain to her how she felt afterwards. About an hour later, when they had left to the spa, she walked around the town, but only one thing in her mind. Lotus. For some reason, she had fallen in love with Lotus, or at least had a strong affection to her. She wondered. Who was this particular pony? She was so beautiful. She never expected to have pony to fall in like in another mare. But during her time staying with Pinky, she never brought this particular subject up. She never mentioned about love or anything. But she could still not get her lotus off her mind. Even she tried to many times to just try to forget about her. But it didn't. It came back to her over and over, and her mind of her was beyond anything that she could expect. Seeing Lotus were beyond any expectations about finding some pony that she could like. Even after she came back to Rock Farm, she was still thinking about Lotus. She had no idea what was going to happen with her. But Lotus. She must have known something that that limestone didn't expect to happen. But even though, even after that she came back home, Marble had some sense that there was something different about limestone. She asked her if there was something going on, and. She even asked her what about her visiting Ponville, what she liked about it, and what she did. And Limestone just explained what she had been doing there, spent time with Maud, Pinky, and some other friends. And she even tried to 
by this Spawnable Spall, which is, for her, was the first time she felt relaxed in Luna's particular long time. But when she mentioned about the spa, there was something in her tone that was different from normal. But Marple didn't say that, because he thought maybe there was something just maybe mentioning about feelings, feeling so relaxed made had some a big impact in Limestone's life. So she didn't particularly ask about something happened there, but she thought maybe that just simply that she enjoyed the spa. So Bobble just continued help at the farm. But over time, Limestone's feelings towards Lotus hasn't even faded. In fact, they only grow stronger for each single day. Even back home in Ponyville, Lotus hasn't even paid much attention to any particular things. But in fact, she were actually been seeing a picture of Stan for about four years. Until she found out that he had been cheating on her behind her back for over two years by they been together. So half of the time being together, he had been seeing another mare behind her behind her back. But when she found out, she wasn't happy. She told him and even asked him why he did it. And why if he didn't love her, why he just break up with her and go to and be with other man instead? And just being with her for four years and doing it for half of the time being together and we go behind behind her back. And his simple answer was I didn't mind. What's more it had the most excited feeling, like being caught or being doing something that was almost forbidden. In that answer, she had hope that he would say that something that I I couldn't help it. I I'm sorry. I I won't try to give us a, a second chance. But her hearing the opposite made her feeling heartbroken. And they had been living together for about a year. And she threw him out right away. She threatened to ever he come back to her. She would kick him out a second time and never come back. And she even said to him, preferring not if he want to be without a mare, take her and leave town and never come back. He didn't want to stay there. So he actually took her advice. She he took his new his new girlfriend and just moved out of town and never ever returned. And her sister Aloe, she was really heartbroken to hearing what her what her sister's boyfriend did. Even though Lotus was heartbroken, but she put focus on her work for now. Even that some of her friends had been asking her, why didn't she just go find some other stallion to be with? Maybe try dating, dating again? But her answer was just, no. For now, I'm going to be focused on my work. Perhaps I'm going to focus on dating at some point, but not for now. That was her true answer, though. And about a month later, after all this happened, Limestone got a message from Pinky asking if she wanted to be, come back over for a visit. And for some reason though, her parents was expecting some sort of argument and not saying that she didn't want to go. But instead, I would go. That actually did surprise them mostly. Because she always sometimes argue about any sort of question. But she didn't answer. She didn't argue with any of this. So in fact, she actually sat on the train all the way to Ponyville. And this time though, Pinky had a lot more time to spend with her sister. But 
during this time, they went to spa often, either used with, with Pinky or just her with Rarity, so that she could see Lotus more often. And the first few times, Rarity or Pinky didn't pay much attention. But when Rarity was there were well, on the fourth time with Limestone, she noticed that when Lotus gave her back massage or something, she smiled. But another pony did nothing. So she thought maybe that was something about Lotus that made Limestone happy. So in the cell, or at least, or is after after they left the spa. Rarity brought this particular subject up, and Limestone tried to make out some excuses or tried to find a way to avoid that particular topic. But when Rarity noticed there was something that when Limestone tried to avoid the topic, she asked her, and, and then asked, Have you been found in love with Lotus? She asked quietly, so no other pawn was here. And Limestone realized there was no point to try to make any excuses or try to avoid a topic, because Rarity would try to make another way to find out. So she said yes. And and she said, go ahead, laugh. I don't kind, and I don't mere I don't I don't care about if you laugh at me. But darling I will never laugh. It's just sweet that you have fallen in love with some other pony. And in fact, Rarity took what's what limestone to her shop where they have more talk more seriously. What should I do? Should I tell her? Or should I just forget about this? But Rarity didn't say anything except if you want to try to be with her, or at least know her, or at least want her to know, you should tell. And then Rarity even mentioned about Lotus' previous ex-boyfriend did. And Limestone, she wasn't happy. Even though that she didn't even know Lotus' ex-boyfriend or much about Lotus herself, she was just un. Forgivable, angry. She said that if he would ever return, try to be good back with her, she would tell this boyfriend of hers or the ex-boyfriend to back off, never come near her ever, ever again. And in fact, the same day afterwards. Limestone was walking around the town, thinking if she should, should tell Lotus about this question, or later feelings. And by stroke of luck, she actually saw Lotus at the park, by herself. She tried to go up to the park, but stopped a few times and tried to walk another way. But she remembers Rarity's advice. If you don't tell, you will never know if those true feelings towards her was real or not. So she took a deep breath and walked up to the park. Even when she walked there, it felt almost like an eternity. But as she got closer, she walked slower and slower. And her heart was getting beating faster, faster. It felt that she was having a heart attack. But she took another deep breath and walked up to Lotus. There she explained to her when she asked if she could sit down, which she, she did. She explained to Lotus about her feelings towards her right away. And she explained that she knows that it will happen to her ex-boyfriend and she wonders if she would date a mare or anything. But Lotus, she didn't say much. She just smiled and understood. 
But she did actually explain that even though that she had said to her friends that she didn't want to focus on dating. But since she saw that Limestone was so honest about her feelings and, and was willing to give a chance of dating a mayor, so she actually decided to date. So they decided to go on a date together on the next day. But when Limestone told Pinky about this day with Lotus, she was really excited. She wanted to be for a party for her sister. But Limestone said no. This was something that she didn't want to be celebrating because she had just asked another mayor out on a date. This was not, some, not something that she just wanted to perform a party for. Well, Pinky just ex accepted that, but she said once again that she was just happy that her sister may have found her special somebody. At least she was given a chance to find somebody. The very next day, Lotus and, and Limestone went to a restaurant on the evening. There, at first, even that Limestone was shy. She didn't speak much because this was actually her very first date ever. So she didn't know what to do, what to say or anything, even though that she had given some ideas by her sister and some other friends. But she tried to give some of some her dear advices, what to say and what to do and sort of things. So she asked Lotus a little more about herself, what she liked to do when she's not working, and she even asked Limestone the same questions. And after that break, everything was just was going really well. And even for the rest of the times when Limestone were at in Pondeville, they saw each other more often. After when when Lotus was off work or when she just quit her job for the day, they spent a lot of time together, either with in her home where they had some dinners, just enjoyed it together. Sadly though, Limestone had to go back home, but she promised to write letters to Lotus as often as she could. And she promised to be back at any point that she could. But what she didn't expect though, the next visit wouldn't be not, not until not a few months. Because Lotus had a lot of work to take care of. But it is that they were kept in, in touch with by letters. But did it actually happen when Pinky went to see her family at the farm? She even brought some gift from Lotus to Limestone. And she did the same. In Pinky, Pinky, she didn't mind to be like a, a personal male mayor for her sister. But one day, when Limestone were back in Ponyville for visit, they did. She and Lotus had an amazing time until they heard a voice behind her back. They all both turned around. And it turns out to be her ex-boyfriend. He had left the new mayor, his new girlfriend, back in Frothingham. To come and realize he was still very much in love with Lotus and wanted her back. But when she told him, no, I don't want you back. After what you did, I never want to take you back. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my mistake until now. Can you just take me back, please? But he said no again and again. He tried to beg her to take her back. But then Limestone, for who which he believed to just be a friend of hers, walked up to him and said right in his face, You did, you heard what she said. Leave her and never talk to her ever again. She is not for you to be back with. After what you did, don't you consider to be happy that she would be take you back? No. And do you think that she would take you back? No. Because she is happy with me. She 
me and I, we are dating. So never come back any again. And they just walked off. Leaving him standing there in a shock belief. He couldn't believe Lotus was now dating a mare. But in his mind, she was his, not anybody else. So for the next couple of days, Lotus was giving gifts at her apartment, or at least her house, like small box of candy, flowers, and she all believed it was from Limestone. But when she asked Limestone about this, she said that she had never sent any gifts or any flowers to her. So if it wasn't from her, then who had been sending her the gifts over the past few days? So Limestone and Lotus, they was waiting in her home almost every morning early to see who could be leaving the gifts. But it turns out every morning for the past few days though, that the chocolate or the flowers end up at her doorstep around 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. But when she walks up, oh, by which about almost two hours later, no point had been seen. So they decided to wait up early to see and call the corporate in the action. So, when they heard what was on outside, they quickly opened the door, and who did they see? Derpy. Derpy has been sending, had been giving this, this box of candy or flowers by some pony else to deliver as a second hand. They both asked her who this other pony were, if she knew him or her. But Derpy explained there was actually a stallion. But she didn't know him. So they asked how to describe this particular stallion. Like his height, his colors, any Q marks and so things. But she couldn't even explain because she couldn't just see the Q mark. This stallion had covered his he was wearing some sort of suit or cloak or something. And he was about same height as them. And Derpy couldn't even couldn't see what type of main colors he was, but she could tell that he was brown in cold color. And as remembered, Lotus' ex-boyfriend had brown color in coat, so he became something. But the motive, though, the both of wonders, why would he sending her gifts when he knows that she has a girlfriend by now? But Lionstone had only one answer. He's trying to make you fall in love with him once again. And that made her furious. So, they decided to wait one at a time, when they told Derpy, if this stallion been asked her to do the same thing again, that she would tell him that he would have to do itself, because she had to do other business to take care of, and she did that. So, but the next morning, both Lotus and Derp Limestone was waiting. And when they heard a noise outside the door, they slowly, they didn't open it slowly. They just rip it open, and there he did, in fact, stood holding a box of candy. And in fact, it was her ex boyfriend. And what as Limestone believed, he was trying to convince her to go back to be with him. But this made her even more furious. She didn't, didn't say much, but Limestone, she lost it. She told him, by this rage of rage, leave her alone. If you don't, 
if you love her that much, let her be. Let her move on in her life. Don't stalk her. If you want to be with some po- some pony, find some pony else. She is taken. If you ever, ever walks up to her ever again, or even come near her home, I will make sure you will be kicked out of town by myself. Did I make myself clear? And he just nodded and just walked. But the candy box still remained, and that was absolute the last time Lotus saw her ex-boyfriend, or at least heard about it. And that made her love Limestone even more, because how Limestone was so protective of her, she realized she was a true pony that she had been waiting for. And over time, everything between them just went stronger and stronger. Sure, they may have had some arguments about some things, but they always worked it out. But then, after being together for about a year, Limestone told her parents and her sisters she is moving from the farm. In fact, she decided to move to Polnivy. Not only to be closer to her sisters, but only to be with Lotus. But during that particular day, the time they've been together, Limestone had introduced Lotus to her family, especially her parents. Even both were nervous how they react, but they both were supportive and welcomed Lotus as part of the family. And in fact, though, after being together for almost another four years, Limestone thought it was about time to settle down and get married. She even told Pinky and her mom about this. They were so hyped, so happy and excited, but they promised to keep a secret. But when Limestone did actually propose to Lotus, she then said no right away. She said yes, and the wedding was actually held at the at the castle. Even that Pinky was so happy for her sister, which she did actually throw a big party afterwards. Even Limestone had asked Marble to be her bridesmaid, and and even of course Aloe to be Lotus' bridesmaid. They even went to Crystal Empire for about a week, and there they had this just amazing time. Even for the most part, when they came back, though, after being to just married for two years, they started talking about if they were ready to have a family of their own. So they decided to ask Twilight for help, since she had helped a few other mares in town before. So they decided to ask for help, and Lotus told that she could be pregnant. Since they find out that most of the time they tried before, they tried at least about a year earlier, but no luck. But this time they had a luck. When both were told they were going to have a baby. Both was beyond happiness, and they later found out they wanted to have a daughter. And a few months later, their daughter was born, and they named her Healing Stone Pie. And unlike her mother, Limestone, she was fairly calm, always outspoken, having a great sense of humor. But she loved to spend time with her aunt Pinky and Maud. But especially with Pinky, they had us an amazing bond right away. With baking together, and even though that she even loved her grandparents, which they often saw, but even as a filly, she had found her purpose in life, and that was to be 
a healer. She was helping at the spa, but she even gave a lessons about medicine from Sikora. Mostly about herbal medicine, like relaxing medicine, some sort of things. And she wanted to be a healer. After been hearing stories about Mage Madame Brooke from when she was just a filly, she wanted to be like her. Because she saw Sikora and Mage Madame Brooke as her role models. And she wanted to be a healer. And even when she became a healer in town, she even had some part-time job at the spa with her mother, Lotus. Even at some point though, she had fallen in love with another stallion. After, after they'd been dating for about four years, they got married. And they first had one son. And two years later, they had two daughters. And that's how Lotus and Limestone Pie from the true love, they got a big family. The end.